Okay, first, uh, for having Web AR in our Unity project, it's better to uh, assure that we already have WebGL platform installed on our Unity editor. So, for checking that, we should come over here and let's see uh, the WebGL is available. If it is available, let's switch to platform to WebGL. If it is not available, I propose to go over your uh, Unity Hub and go to the installs and uh, for example this is my current version if you don't see um, webgl let's try to download webgl from add modules and uh, okay and select the webgl option i already downloaded it if uh, it's not installed on your editor select the webgl build support and install on your editor. After that, uh, switch the platform of your project uh, into WebGL platform. Okay, the next step is uh, we should come over here and use Universal AR SDK or UAR. Okay, this is a web and native AR for Android and iOS. It is really good and as you can see it supports URP it doesn't support HTRP in built-in and it has really good options for example image tracking face tracking and instant uh, word tracking it's a kind of surface tracking or ground detection uh, in Vuforia and AR foundation and it is really good so uh, an important point it is free you just need to download, uh, click on Open in Unity at your project whenever you log in into the Unity Asset Store and import it from here, uh, Window Package Manager and uh, into the, uh, go to the My Assets and try to find the name of your uh, that package, uh, Universal AR, okay? So let's find it okay where is it all right look at this it is here universal AR SDK uh, first download it and after that import it to your project after you import uh, the UAR to your project you should go over the player settings here okay and let's do some changes here. By default in WebGL of Unity uh, the WebGL template in resolution and presentation uh, has been chosen by default. Okay? If your Unity version is 2020 uh, less than 2020 or for example 2019 or uh, 2018 or 2017 it doesn't matter 2019 or less, uh, you know, should uh, select Zapper 2019 template. If you are upper than 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, or even Unity 6, you should select uh, Zapper. After that, you can change your splash screen to be able to show the Unity logo or not. For example, in my version, because my Unity version is a Unity personal, so I can't select that part. But and you can change with these options as well. All right, our project now it is uh, is ready for uh, the first scenario, and the first scenario will be. Uh, how we can add a 3D animated move into the uh, you know real area, real space without any marker. We want to use instant board tracking. Okay. I already made a sample scene now. Uh, just we need to uh, check them what I have done. First, we should. Uh, go to the zapper and the camera 
and here you can choose one of these options for example selfie camera facing camera or rare camera uh, for our experience it's better to use re rare facing camera okay front and rare rare facing camera is the main camera of the mobile device or even other devices after you select rear facing camera, you will see a zapper camera appears here and it has a zapper camera here and also zapper camera here and this zapper camera script. After that, we should come over here in the zapper options and you will see instance tracking target. And click on this guy and you will see a simple object appears here zapper instance tracking target and it has zapper instance tracking target component I propose to don't touch it it is fine it doesn't have any complicated options after that you know you just need to drag and drop your 3d animated woof which honestly I, uh, I downloaded this 3D model free from Sketchfab. I will share the link of this woof in the description of this video. If you want you can use this uh, free 3D asset into your project. And it is, it's gonna be just the child of this Zapper instance tracking target. That's it. It is the only thing you need to do. And, uh, the, and the basic uh, methodology of this uh, augmented reality is you turn on your camera and you detect uh, your ground you touch the screen and this woof appears at the position of that uh, touch screen you'd made and in here as you can see it has animator and I've added the box collider into it and this uh, component animal interaction I make this animal interaction uh, for example if we click uh, this collider this roof it shows a pop-up a 3d text and it says uh, look at this it is a panel and look at this this is roof okay but uh, in this code, I said on mouse down, let's select panel that said active true. It is our text. And after that, uh, try to look at to the camera of our, uh, of our AR camera. Okay, so with this code, uh, this panel object from the Z angle, from the blue angle, all the time look at the zapper camera uh, look at this here I said okay try to look at the zapper camera zapper camera is our a augmented reality uh, camera in the scene okay that's it I want I just wanted to show you you can do whatever you want and you have free hands to make any scenario you want Fully interactive, physics works, uh, 3D rendering works, UI works, all the functions of Unity worked. So you have free hands to make anything you want. After that, you will save your scene and go to the build settings and add your scene into your scenes in build. Okay, the final step is you should go over the zapper and into the editor you will see a two options are here and try hit that button of update project settings to publish after you made it if everything is fine you will see this message appears on your console it says done updating editor related project settings for publish okay now everything is ready for publish you just need to go over the file and build settings and uh, try to click uh, on the build and give it uh, an address 
to make your game over here. I made a, uh, a new folder, I called it Zapper Test, and over here I say select folder. Okay. Let's come back to our browser. Uh, into the this address, I will share the link of this address as well, Zap, uh, Zapworks projects, uh, my.zap.works, you will see the dashboard of your account. Uh, making an account in Zapworks is free, you can uh, make your personal account, but remember, you won't allow to use your application for commercial purposes. It is fully for learning, okay? If you want to use your project for commercial purposes, you need to purchase the license of this, uh, you know, Zapworks, but I want to uh, assure you it is truly cheap and it is really, you know, uh, makes sense to buy this uh, powerful, uh, um, pro, uh, plugin for your project. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have this guy. Zephyr tests and over here, oh, let, let's remove this guy. And we have build, fav icon, and India, in index. We just need to over here select all of them and make uh, okay. Yes, make a winrar of the zip file of this package. Okay, now we have this zip file of our project. Okay, into your dashboard after you made your uh, own account and have a uh, dashboard, uh, uh, you just need to click on this new project button and you will see there are four options. You just, you just need to use Universal AR. Maybe in your account, Universal AR will be the, one of these small uh, options over here. It doesn't matter. Uh, select Universal AR and continue. And here, select Unity. Okay? After that, you will see a new project appears. Okay? You, just, you can select your own a name for your project, for example, Abulfaz Web AR Test, right? And we are ready for publish our game. Okay. Over here, uh, we select upload and publish, and in here, we just need to drag and drop this zip file into this part. Remember, the limit size is 25 megabytes. Okay? And let's add your version name. It's supposed to be a number. 1.0.0. Okay? And upload and publish. Wait. And success. Your trigger is ready. And look at this. It, this QR code is our uh, link of our project so you we can uh, send this QR code to anyone we want for launching this project okay I will pause my video exactly here and I want to continue my video from my mobile phone to show you uh, how this web AR works okay let's go to the mobile uh, browser look at this I'm scanning this QR code and this pop-up appears and now look at this it is unity and my web browser oh I forgot to select it false this woof <laughs> this text honestly it doesn't matter what matter is now if I touch my screen for example here now it attached to the ground and this 3d text look at me all the time and it is very good 
Look at this. It is very, very good. All right, let's go to the next step.